All right, before we even get started with this video, there's all types of noise going on right now, okay? You're gonna hear cows over here being fed, and there's trucks and trailers passing by over here, so I'm gonna do my best not to get distracted. Uh, but we're gonna talk about the Pulsar Trail XQ38 a year later. This unit right here has about 250 to 300 hours with me. I haven't switched thermals, I haven't sent it back for any type of repairs. And before we even get to the details and talking about my experience with it, I just want you guys to know that I am not paid by Ultimate Night Vision or Pulsar to talk highly about this unit. I have a great relationship with Ultimate Night Vision. They're some good friends of mine. I visit with them all the time. I hunt with them all the time. And I have no affiliation with Pulsar whatsoever. But I will be honest with you guys on this unit. I don't have a problem being honest with you guys. Let's talk about it. So why did I pick the XQ38 over the other models? That's a great question. If you're familiar with Ultimate Night Vision's YouTube, Instagram, my YouTube or Instagram channel, you've seen that we have used some really expensive units in the past. And unfortunately, your average person is not gonna be able to get their hands on some of those units. So I had a talk with Tyler and I said, hey, we need to try to get a thermal out there that people can actually afford and use in the field and have some confidence behind it. And he says, let's try the 38. So the 38 at $3,300 versus 42, 55, 8,000, 10,000, 15, 20, we can, we can go up pretty high on some of these units. It gets pretty expensive. If you're dedicated to it, I can see some people really spending a lot of money. But if you're not doing this all the time, or your budget just doesn't allow it, there's nothing wrong with the XQ38. I had a few complaints. I've never had issues with it sending it back, but uh, using the high-end stuff and then coming down here to the 38, the XQ38, uh, there was some things that, that I had to sacrifice. <laughs> Uh, but let's talk about a few things on the thermal and then we'll start talking about quality here in a little bit. The first week I lost a little rubber grommet here for the USB port and the eye coupler. The eye coupler really wasn't a big loss for me because I don't ever use that thing. It's really good to use during the daytime. Uh, I've actually had to use it one time. I needed it one time. And uh, fortunately, Tyler had his XP50 on the side, and I grabbed it, threw it on there, and came across some pigs during the daytime with it. That's the only time I ever needed it. Uh, the USB port kind of scares me with weather uh, because there, this thing does get wet, and so I always get worried about water getting down in there, but I haven't had any issues. Um, you know, I can't believe this damn lens cover is still on here. I've seen these break off as well, but this one's made it. Uh, the focus adjustment here on top, this knob, uh, it's it's pretty stiff. It doesn't really get knocked off. I usually try to get it focused within 100 yards. Um, it, we usually get really close on these pigs, and then I'm forced to focus it back. So you're constantly going back and for forth with the focus here. Um, the factory mount. If you get this thermal, or any thermal in the Pulsar Trail for Ultimate Night Vision, you're gonna get the D-Lock mount. The D-Lock mount is the way to go. Uh, there's a longer mount that comes with the Pulsar Trail that's actually designed for a bolt gun. Uh, I'm not sure if some of you guys know this, but Pulsar is actually like a European company, and their stuff is usually designed over the bolt gun platform, okay? They don't, they don't shoot with AR, so uh, that mount just, it's useless here unless you're actually running a bolt gun. But if you're hunting at night and you're chasing pigs and coyotes, there's uh, majority of the time you're running an AR. Most people are. I, that's why we run. Uh, but anyways, the D-Lock mount is great. I usually pop this thing off and I use it to scan. And uh, whenever I'm done, I just throw it back in the same location or just somewhere on the rail, which has happened. And I was still able to pull off some pretty cool shots. So it's a great mount. You get that with uh, Ultimate Night Vision if you order it to, through them. Uh, zeroing. I've uh, never had any issues with zero. Uh, this rifle was taken apart two times within that year to get you know cleaned and everything because I shoot a lot of surplus ammo. And uh, I did lose my zero just kind of slightly, not, not bad. It was like an inch and a half off to the left. That had nothing to do with the unit. That was just me taking apart the rifle. Uh, zero has always been there though. The reticle options are great. You know all this. If, you're, if you've been looking at the Pulsar Trail, it's really nothing new. 
you have already seen all the options when it comes to the reticles and stuff but as far as weather uh throughout that year the battery has held up i have never sent this battery in or got a replacement from tyler this is the original battery and i've been using it for a year now recharging it and using it when it gets really cold uh, i'll be honest with you i get about four hours max out of it and that's on standby mode uh, during the summertime like right now i'm getting anywhere from six to seven hours out of it what's on standby mode now you have the option to run a bigger battery pack but it sticks out a little bit further and i don't like that so i've never run it uh, they do hold a charge really well they're not like the smart batteries like you get like a drone or something uh, where you just set it all to the side and it dies and you have to recharge it I've actually charged this battery and had it sitting for a week. I put it in that Saturday, went out hunting, and it was fully charged. So uh, they hold a charge really well. Uh, weather conditions on a really good cold night is when I've noticed the clarity is the best. Uh, during the summertime with a lot of heat in the background or just heat on the ground, the clarity is good, but it just isn't as good as it is during the wintertime. So clarity is good during the wintertime, but the battery life sucks. Uh, battery life is good during the summertime, but the quality uh, kind of goes away. It's even worse when it rains. I'll be honest with you, when it's raining, I won't even take this unit out. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's the uh, core that's in here, uh, but when it's raining and after a rain, visibility is very slim. It's not good. I've had a coyote come in one night when we was calling after a really hard rain, and I didn't get on this coyote to about 50 yards and I was able to drop him. But usually I would take a coyote easily at 100, 150 yards. And unfortunately with that humidity and heavy condensation, uh, I just couldn't pick up that coyote. And he had to be right on top of me for me to hit him. Uh, the video uh, display through the actual uh, scope is really good. Uh, I was always, always telling Tyler, so I, mean, I think this is just as good as the XP38. And then I noticed the difference when it was time to upload. When I uploaded the files, uh, you'll see it on my Instagram or on my YouTube channel. You will see that the clarity just really isn't there. And it really kills me because it doesn't do the actual thermal any justice. When it's time to upload it, it's like 720 versus 1080. 720 versus 1080. That's the only way I can explain it. There's a big difference. And uh, when it comes to animals at distance, it's really hard to make out what's going on in the video. When I'm actually shooting through the thermal, it's not that bad. It's whenever I upload the files. Now, uploading. Uh, I know a lot of people have had issues in the past with the Wi-Fi on these things. I will be honest with you, the entire year I've been behind this unit, I've never used the Wi-Fi. A lot of people have complained about that and had all kinds of issues and I just didn't go there. I've seen Rich from Ultimate Night Vision use the Wi-Fi and it worked just fine for him, but I have heard a lot of people not having any luck with it. Uh, another issue that I've had, uh, whenever it was time to upload files, I, had the, I have to use an AVI converter and when I converted some of my files over, uh, sometimes I didn't get a video transferred. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the app that I was using or something was going on with the files in the uh, Pulsar Trail. I will have the stalk, you will see the pigs, and then when it was time for me to hunt and shoot the pigs, uh, the file was gone. It just wouldn't upload. So that's happened to me three times. But other than that, it's worked just fine. You know, for $3,300, you can't beat this. You really can't beat this. If you're, if you're an occasional hunter, you hunt all the time and this is within your budget, don't be scared to do it. You'll be just fine with the XQ38. Uh, I wanna say these have a three year warranty. So if something ever was to happen, you can send it in and hopefully they'll get it fixed or replace it. Uh, other than that, I have no issues. Other than that, I have no issues. A year later, after all that abuse and being used, uh, it's held up and I know I can get another year out of this unit, no problems. I couldn't tell you how long it'll keep running at the, at the rate that I'm at right now, I'll be honest with you, but a year later, it's running really good with no issues. I think it's a great buy. So again, I'm not here to try to push this unit on you. There's other models out there that you guys can check out, uh, but I thought doing a video a year later on the Pulsar Trail XQ38 would be a good idea and kind of help you guys out with your next purchase. So if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe. 
uh, feel free to ask any questions and uh, get a hold of Ultimate Night Vision for your next thermal purchase. I appreciate you guys watching.